Good morning to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another episode of Sneaker Talk where we talk about the latest sneaker releases, sneaker news, and just sneakers in general. In today's episode, we have to talk about a Air Force One that released quite recently over the past couple weeks that I forgot to cover, well, not forgot to cover, but didn't get to cover because of my workload at work. But I really feel like it deserves its own video, its own special little spot on YouTube because it is honestly a really, really awesome Air Force One and a lot of people are going to overlook it. A lot of people aren't even going to know it exists because of how limited and exclusive this Air Force One is. What's the Air Force One that we're going to be talking about today? Well, we're going to be talking about the collaboration between iconic New York based clothing brand Kith and obviously famous sporting apparel brand Nike, when they collaborated together to do a Tokyo colorway that was an exclusive release in, their, in Kith's Tokyo flagship store. <laughs> Classic me, guys. I know, covering stuff that, you know, already has released, but we have to catch up on it because unfortunately I can't dedicate all my time to YouTube because I'm working, I've got a job to do, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta pay the bills, you know? <laughs> so yes, we're gonna be covering a release that happened a while ago, but I feel like it needs to be covered because it's a monumental part in um, Kit's release, uh, you know, history. And it also commemorates a monumental part in Kit's achievements as well. So what we're going to be talking about today is the Kith Air Force Ones that were released as part of the commemorative ceremony for uh, the recently opened, is it Shibuya? Uh, Shibuya Tokyo uh, Kith flagship store? I think that's how you pronounce the region. Yeah, Kith opened its first flagship store in Japan and to commemorate that, Ronnie Feig released a pair of Air Force Ones exclusively for that flagship store. Yeah, you're hearing me right. So Nike gave Kith a collaboration, gave them an Air Force One. Don't know how many pairs were released. Hopefully the Kith article that I have for us today tells us how many pairs there are out in the world. But this Air Force One was only released in Japan at that store in the middle of a coronavirus pandemic. And of course it sold out. Uh, it is very hard to come by on the resale market. I think there's like two or three of them available on like GOAT at the moment. Like it is very hard to come by. And I kind of just wanted to talk about it in today's video to, you know, have a look at the Air Force Ones, uh, go over all the details of it, discuss how monumental it is, and of course give you my thoughts and opinions on the actual Air Force One as well. Now, if you guys want me to cover like more Kith releases, more Kith stuff, I'm definitely going to go back and cover the Kith Summer 2020 collection because I f we need to talk about that. We've talked about every single collection so far this year, except for the summer one. Why haven't we covered the summer one? Because I'm lazy. <laughs> well, mainly because, as I said, the whole I work literally every day and I just don't have a lot of time. I got to wake up at like 6 a.m. Uh, to, you know, and then actually wake up at 8 am to actually start recording so we will eventually get there and cover the kith summer 2020 collection i really just need to like be anti-social on my weekends and then just like cover a bunch of old releases for you guys but if you want me to keep covering upcoming kith releases don't forget to leave a big old like on this video comment in the comment section down below and subscribe to the channel uh you guys absolutely blew it out of the park hitting 2445 subs i was like yeah we got five subs we got like how many days is it it's literally like two days and you were like meh let's just do it and then you, you guys hit the milestone so we're gonna go for a little bit higher now we're gonna go for 2450 subs can we hit that by the end of july we have like two days subscribe today and hopefully we can hit that milestone but let's move on. So let's head on over to the Kith news article to read all the release details, read, uh, have a look at all the official images of the Kith X Nike Air Force One Tokyo colorway. And here we are. So we'll cover all the release details that are specified in the actual article here, and then we'll cover all the photos, which this is what I like about Kith articles. Cause you know, like posts by Hypebeast and other journalists will only include maybe like their four best photos that they see in this uh, thing here. But Kit's like, screw it, bro. Let's just do 
30 photos <laughs> of every little detail, which is awesome. Which is awesome. It helps me when I want to cover a bunch of their stuff. So let's dive into these release details and cover, you know, how monumental the actual sneaker is, what, where it released, for how much, and see where its influence came from. Let's dive in. So, Hip X Nike Air Force One Tokyo colorway. On, 4th of, on July 4th or the 4th of July, Hith will proudly open the doors to their first store in Japan. The store is located in Shibuya, Tokyo. Inside the beautifully new developed oh no, Mi, uh, Miyashita Park and will offer Kith apparel and a curated selection of footwear for men, women and kids. To commemorate the opening of Kith's first permanent presence in Japan, the brand has worked with Nike to create a collaborative Air Force One. There you go. For their first ever store in Japan, they released this shoe. Um, I was reading a Instagram post by Ronnie Feig talking about this uh, shoe, and he was telling us that the reason that he chose to do the Air Force One, and the reason he chose to make it a Japan exclusive, was inspired by the um, Japan exclusive Air Force Ones that released in the early 2000s. Uh, Ronnie Feig talked about how, as a kid, he was a big shoe collector in the early 2000s, and he would try his hardest to get a pair of these Japanese exclusive Air Force Ones that released in the early 2000s. Unfortunately, I don't think he managed to pick any of them up when he was a kid, but he wanted that same hustle, that same, you know, effort that people had to put in to try and get a pair from Japan for this release. He wanted people to struggle on purpose. <laughs> But I understand, like, look, I totally get that. If if you went through those struggles as a kid to try and hustle your way to try and get an exclusive pair from Japan in the early 2000s that only released in Japan, uh, I could understand wanting to replicate that for a new generation. I could understand that. It just, it does make it a pain in the ass, though, <laughs> trying to, try to pick up the pair. Because if you wanted this pair, I mean, unless you got to plug in Japan, I mean, and you want to, and if you're able to fly over to Japan during a global pandemic to pick up this pair of shoes, I mean, good on you, but most of us, that is not the case. So, uh, unfortunately, I think 99% of the people that wanted to pick up this shoe missed out on this shoe. The shoe is inspired by the Japanese flag. This model features an all-white premium leather upper with red hits seen on the velvet lining. If the shoe wasn't bougie enough, dude, your foot will slide into velvet. <laughs> oh, so this is the most bougiest Air Force One I've ever seen, man. This is the, this is the most high-class <laughs> Air Force One I have ever looked at. Velvet lining on the inside that's wild that's so wild that's where, where's my air jordan ones with bloody velvet lighting i want that bougie experience <laughs> that's crazy and embroidered mini toe swoosh the flag is used for the tongue label oh sorry yeah the flag is used for the tongue label which also features kith branding the quarter panels are debossed with kith's monogram pattern so kids box logo that is printed on the sides we'll look into that when we look into the images white while the sole unit is finished in a vintage beige which is a huge trend right now like a bunch of people that are just like scrolling through their instagram search feed are seeing all these like vintage nike shoes from like the 80s and 90s and because they're like 30 years old the soles have finally aged and honestly i'm kind of hoping that like my 2015 Chicago's here. I'm hoping that in like 2050, the soles start aging on these bad boys as well, and these will just look mint in like 30 years. <laughs> but they will look amazing. Imagine this. Imagine having the 2015 pair in 2050. That's a flex. I'll be old as hell. I'll be 50 and I'll be rocking the Air Jordan 1. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's a huge trend right now, so I totally understand why they did the vintage beige um, uh, midsole there. Other details include special Kith Air logos, a reimagining of the Nike Air logo, embroidery on the heel tabs, and printed on the footbeds. So you get custom insults, custom branding, custom literally everything. <laughs> uh, paying homage to Nike's 
co.jp Japanese exclusive Air Force One line from the early 2000s. The model will release exclusively at the Kith Tokyo flagship on July the 4th. Uh, obviously that means it was like 24 days ago. Uh, it will not release online, so you literally couldn't bot it. If you were in Japan, you could not bot it on Kith's online store. Uh, or Kith, if, if, if Kith even has a, ja a Japan exclusive online store, I don't. You, they didn't even release it, so you couldn't even bot it there. Uh, nor any other Kith shop. So it's literally, as I said, it didn't release in any other Kith store. The retail was uh, 15,000 Japanese yen, which I think is... 140 usd uh you just basically chop off a couple zeros and it's like around that price that's i think that's uh, that's how japanese yen works right you just you chop off a couple zeros so we'll chop off these two zeros and i think it's 150 usd like 140 150 usd i think that's around the price that, that, that that's that's how i do my conversions in my head to ensure the safety and well-being of, of our tokyo community because there is literally a plague going around Kith Tokyo will be opening on an appointment basis for the time being. Customers who signed up yesterday for reservations will be given a day slash time slot to explore and shop comfortably. Therefore, the Kith X Air Force One Tokyo will be handled on a first come, first serve basis for those who have been confirmed for store reservations. So there's no raffle to sign up to come in to buy the shoe exclusively. You have to compete with literally anyone in Japan that was interested in coming into the Kith Japan store. They may not buy anything. They may not, you know, buy this Air Force One collaboration. They may just come in and buy some Kith clothing because the store's open. You would have to fight with everyone in Japan that was willing to do that just to have a chance to buy a pair. Not even buy a pair in your size, but just buy a pair. Um, I'm hoping they restricted it to one per customer. They didn't specify that. I assume they did, and I assume they specif they made it so it's, um, you know, whatever size you are was the size that you could buy. I assume that was the case. I, 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 Kith is usually pretty good with this, with handling releases and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, that is crazy. Also, they do mention that they do have a Japan exclusive online store, so kithtokyo.com. So, it, they didn't release it online on that uh, Kith Japan store, but, yeah, wow, that's absolutely crazy. Um that is super limited that is so limited and it's the fact that it was so limited in a global pandemic like i know that's not kith's fault in any way shape or form but they were able to do a release as such an exclusive release while the world is literally on fire I, and and they managed to open a store in japan while the world was on fire um that's absolutely wild that's that's super crazy um honestly Gotta, gotta give you some props, Kith. Congrats for opening your first Japan store. That's that's a, not a thing to look overlook. Um, I love the influence um, behind the design, but I think we now have to dive into the design itself. So we've got a bunch of images here um, with uh, the color palette of the shoe obviously taking influence from Japan's flag, uh, which is called the Rising Sun, I think, if I remember. If that is still Japan's flag, I honestly don't know these days. Um, or at least it's a flag Japan used in the past. Uh, what we'll do is, yeah, we'll just dive into all the images and we'll cover all the little details that the article specified and I'll give you my final thoughts and opinions on the actual shoe itself. Whew. Here it is, in all its glory. <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's really simple, isn't it? In, in color, specifically. Uh, you, all you've got is red on the detailing, on the velvet lining, which I still can't get over. Uh, you have red on the branding, and you just have an, a vintage beige with off uh, with with a white on the upper. It's it's three colors that are being utilized here, but it's utilized very very well. Uh, the the overall silhouette, ignoring the color quite quickly, um, reminds me of the friends and family pair. The friends and family pair had blue lining with a green swoosh i want to say off the top of my head i think that's correct but yeah it's cool it's really really cool um and hopefully we can get some really close-up shots of the branding panels on the side uh you can see that velvet though that 
Oh god, that'd be so comfy. It would wear out. It would wear out quite quickly, but it would be mad comfy. So there you go. We have Kith Air with the embroidery on the back there. We have the red swoosh embroidered onto the side there. We can see the Kith Box logos stacked like bricks underneath the swoosh. The leather quality looks absolutely insane. I gotta say that is some very nice tumbled looking leather there. I like that the tumbled leather wasn't chosen for all over. You can see on these panels here that the tumbled leather isn't all over. It's just on like the detailing, like the swoosh and you know, these panels here, you know, it's done on some panels, but not on all. And I really like that. Uh, moving on, we get a look at the insole here where it says Kith Air. We get a look at that luscious looking velvet. That is absolutely wild. We have IT written on the t uh, tongue there, and I'm a little bit confused about that. I don't know what that's referencing. I can see the Japanese flag. Oh, wait. Oh, it says Kith. Duh. I can't see the K and H though. It's got to say Kith, right? K I T H. Wow. Okay. And it's the Japanese flag on there because the, the, there's the sun. That's wild. That's absolutely wild. Okay, wow, they've put a lot of a uh, lot of details on this. There it is. There we can see it. There we can see the stacked bricks, the stacked tumbled leather bricks that have the Kith logo embossed on each of them. Uh, moving on, I, I think that's a sample on the back of it. So this must be a sample pair. We can see the tongue is made out of leather. There you can see the tumbled leather on the tongue. Uh, I like that Ronnie Feig has chosen not to do tumbled leather on the toe box. Um, and I was kind of even thinking about making a video on it in its entirety. But um, tumbled leather on toe boxes never does too well. Um, I, you can sort of see it when I bring it up to the camera there. But my tumbled leather on my Air Jordan 1 bread, um, breads... That they have just been destroyed because tumbled leather is really really soft which is awesome you know it feels really really comfy on your feet but the problem is is that if you have it on an area of the shoe where there's a lot of movement going on it can crease wrong or crease badly and just look really ugly so i like it that the as much as the tumbled leather is being used quite a bit on the shoe on the swooshes and on the tongues and everything like that it isn't used on pivotal parts of the shoe where your feet's going to be moving in them and stuff so even if you wore these these would look like amazing after like hundreds of wears uh you can see once we zoom in on that detailing there we've got that crazy crazy looking leather that is absolutely wild we got another photo shoot there. It's just a wild, wild shoe, man. This is amazing. There you go. So there's a closer zoomed in photo of the Kith box logos there. You can see one there, there, there. That's just wild. And they all stack up on top of each other. Ronnie Feig has put a lot of attention to detail in this. Nice leather on the um, toe box there. I would not want to scuff that leather. The outsole looks really, really nice. The embroidered red swoosh is really, really nice. I mean, it's just a solid release. I love it. I love it. If if Roddy Feig was like, hey, Daniel, do you want a size 16 in these? Ooh, oh, I would pick them up so quick. I'd be like, yes, Roddy, please. Give me a size 16. That is just, ah. Yeah, um, absolutely crazy shoe. Absolutely crazy shoe. And what I think is really crazy is that for the retail price that they're asking, which I think again is estimated at around like 140 to 150 USD, I think, I don't know, it's it's whatever 1500 Japanese um, yen is. And I think it's around 140 to 150 USD. Um, they are delivering a lot here. And it's such a monumental shoe. And it was released at such a time where it was like, how? How would anyone be able to pick this up? Even if I was in Japan, I would be weary in like leaving my house, going to the kit store to try and buy a pair of these. Cause the virus, man, I don't want to catch a disease that can kill me. Um, that's just crazy. I love it. I think the colorway is sick. It's so subtle. The details are so subtle, but there's so many. It's just a really, really solid Kith release. Nor I like normally if I like I, I can't pick up any Kith shoes because they don't come in a size US 16 or 17. But if this one did, I would pick this one up. This is absolutely wild. I would love to own this shoe. This is just like an amazing Air Force One. Uh, it's just done so well. It's just done so well. Uh, I, I would love to pick it up, but obviously I can't. It released July 4th, 2020. 
Uh, retail price was uh, 1,500, uh, 15,000 um, yen, Japanese yen. Uh, that's about it. That's all. I, that's all the release details. That's all the images, guys. We've basically covered them all. I mean, we could keep going and have a look at all like the zoom in photos again, but this shoe is absolutely wild. I love it. Um, but I want to hear from you guys. What do you think of essentially one of the most rarest Air Force Ones to release to the public? Um, what do you think of that? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Would you pick it up if you had the chance? Would you pay the resale on it? What's your thoughts and opinions? I know I've covered this very, very late because it came out like weeks ago. But as I said, I think it deserves its own little video because it's just it's just such an insane shoot. Just such an insane shoot. But yeah, let me know all your thoughts and opinions on the Kith X Nike Air Force One Tokyo colorway uh, on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or head on down and let me know in that comment section below. And that's it. That's the coverage of them, guys. That's the big old summary of everything. The release details, how they look, everything. Um, to sum it up, the Kith X Nike Air Force One Tokyo colorway is crazy. Um, the attention to detail, the use of materials, everything like that, it's absolutely awesome. What I kind of like and what I kind of think it's hinting to is that it's the Kith X Nike Air Force One Tokyo colorway. Are they going to open other stores around the world? Are they going to do corresponding Air Force Ones for those areas that they release it with? So if they release one in Australia, <laughs> you know, yeah, 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 come on, yeah. Uh, you release one in Australia and then we get an Australian exclusive one. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. I, well, I mean, I, I live in a state that probably wouldn't get a kid's store. So I would have to travel to a different state to pick up a pair. But... I, I th maybe I hope that's what Kith and Runny Fire are implying that they're gonna do is that when they release new flagship stores in new regions, they do a new Nike Air Force One for that. Or maybe this is just a one-off. Maybe they were just like, you know what, Tokyo, uh, we're just gonna do one. We're just gonna do one, and we're not gonna do another one if we open a flagship store in a different country. I don't know. I don't know Ronnie Feig's plan, but all in all, the shoe is awesome. I love the use of color, the use of materials. I just really wish that they did a size 16 and I was able to get it, but I don't live in Japan and I'm not, and I, I'm not even allowed to travel internationally um, because of this virus. So it's just, yeah, it's just one of the most limited, rare, ridiculous releases um, that honestly, if you are like the biggest Air Force One collector, I can imagine that this is one on your list and totally understandable. It is a crazy, crazy collaboration. Um, but I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear from all my wonderful viewers out there. Let me know. How do you feel about this Kith Air Force One that released on July 4th? Would you have picked it up if you lived in Japan? Uh, I, I mean, are you going to try and hunt one down? Good luck. They go for thousands of dollars now. Um, but I want to hear from you. I want to hear all your thoughts and opinions on the Kith Nike Air Force One Tokyo colorway down in that comment section below. And if you want me to keep going back and covering, you know, various other releases and Kith releases that have happened, but I didn't get around to covering because, you know, I'm I've got a job, <laughs> I've got responsibilities, um, definitely just leave me a big old like down below, a comment in the comment section down below on a release that you want me to cover uh, that is already released and I can definitely cover that for you guys. There are so many releases that I'm looking to cover, um, it's just unfortunately I've got responsibilities guys. <laughs> So I'll, I'll get around to covering them eventually. Hopefully, I hopefully this weekend, um, I will, I will, you know, I will, I will push myself and be like, you know what, even though it's the end of the week and I don't have uh, work on Saturday and Sunday, I need to work on YouTube. I, I hopefully I can push myself do that, do that for you guys. We can cover a bunch of releases this weekend. But uh, yeah, that's, that's really it. That's everything I've got to say about the Kith X Nike Air Force Ones um, in the Tokyo colorway uh, that released on July 4th, 2020, exclusively at Kith's flagship store. So until the next Kith video, until the next sneaker talk video, until the next, I don't know, unboxing video, guys, I'll catch you later.